Hi, I'm the founder. My name is Yellen. I'm the founder of Shared Workshop. We are the Airbnb for manufacturing spaces. I was born in a blue collar town in Michigan to a family of manufacturers. Both my father and my uncles all own factories across the state. I know the problems that this sector faces intimately. And one of those problems is factory floor slack. One of the main reasons for factory floor slack is that it, it is prohibitively expensive to move manufacturing equipment. This forces manufacturers to buy ahead space, giving them a non-monetized resource. This is a major issue. In the United States alone, according to JLL, there is over 1 billion square feet of unused manufacturing space. And yet, according to the Urban Manufacturing Alliance's recent study, 66% of those surveyed indicated that their number one pain point for growth was an inability to find 1,000 to 5,000 square feet. My team and I solved this market inefficiency. We built a marketplace platform to, uh, for factory floor slack. It's simple to use. Individuals or, or organizations who have access capacity at their manufacturing facility can quickly and easily list that space. Then, potential lessees can go on the platform and find the space that is ideal for them, allowing them to share space with a manufacturer. No longer do these manufacturers have to spend time weeding through useless Craigslist ads or having a large enough network that they themselves are then forced to tap to find space for their goods or for their machinery. We are currently in, piloting it in the state of Michigan. We are working with about 30 manufacturer with, manufacturers both on and off the platform, and we have partnerships with technical universities in the state, local government officials. We have partnerships as well with maker spaces and with the Manufacturing Alliance. We think the potential for this is huge. We plan on expanding to the Midwest region and then taking it nationally, and manufacturers love us. In fact, one of our manufacturers who currently uses the platform actually came here from Michigan to support us in this endeavor, and that's how much she believes in what we're trying to do. Our team is also, I'd like to think, pretty great. Uh, there's myself. I used to work for the US government for over 10 years running multi-million dollar projects. There's Ramsey Taylor, who used to be one of the key legal, uh, legal counsels at Aramco. There's Boyan, who is uh, currently also working at one of the largest Japanese manufacturing companies. We also have an incredible set of advisors. Shelly Porges, who's a serial investor and entrepreneur, and Jacques Panis is one who used to be, who is the co-founder of Shinoa and their former president. Uh, thank you very much. You've got a, a tricky two-sided marketplace problem. Um, you're going to need a lot of capital to solve it. Where are you in terms of raising capital? Because it is going to take money. Yep, you're absolutely right. So we are currently raising a $1.2 million seed funding round. Um, we haven't closed that round yet. And that round is specifically for the Michigan market and then to start expansion into what we hope to be six additional markets. Um, but as we expand into the national market and then hopefully internationally from there, we're looking at tens of millions of dollars that will need to be um, placed behind this, if not more. Uh, I'm from Indiana, so represent the tri-state area, right? <laughs> no, 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 no one gets that joke um, besides us. Um, what's the primary use case for the excess capacity? So the primary use case right now is a lot of these manufacturers um, actually use it for their own personal storage. If they have boats, they put it back there. If they have RVs, they put it back there. Sometimes they just put junk, kind of like what you would do in your own basement. Um, when we surveyed actually large manufacturers and we asked them, um, when you go, because if you are a first tier manufacturer, you're for, you go to second tier manufacturers to see if you want to put them on the preferred supplier list. We said, what do you think when you see that? And every single one of them said, when we see that, we think that that company is on a downward cycle and we're actually less likely to put them on our preferred supplier list. And I asked them, I said, what if you knew that two, or two uh, owners were sharing the same space? And they said, if we walked through that space and we saw the machinery that we needed for them to produce the parts we wanted them to produce, we would not care whether it was one owner who had that space or multiple owners who had that space. And we actually have a better impression of that company than if we just saw them using it uh, for junk storage or if it was empty space. 
what sort of support do you have from legal and ethical listing type uh, checking that you need to do, obviously, that's to be able to get this going? So that's a key risk to you, isn't it? Yep. So one of the things I didn't talk about is how we make money. So we charge companies to post on the platform. Um, and there's a basic and a premium model. We also charge individuals who are seeking space. I mean, one of the reasons for that is we use part of that money to run a criminal and a financial background check. Um, a lot of states prohibit you to do that um, on someone who has not given their consent. So the fact that they pay is consent. Um, and then we also look at advertising. And as we grow, we hope to do data analytics. So those will be the four revenue streams. But we do do a lot of background checking on the potential um, lessees. And we provide that information to the lessors. And the lessor has the final say whether or not they wish to share their space. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.